Hey everybody, Bob Vandy with Advisors Insurance Brokers, back with you this week of October 24th, 2022, as we make our way very soon into Long-Term Care Insurance Awareness Month here in November. Good to be with you this week. Our theme for this week is actually appearances can be deceiving. And to drive that point home, we've got a video from that very popular movie, Aaron Brockovich, where it really does make the point that appearances sometimes can be deceiving and we can make up our minds about what we may or may not know about something right out of the gate without sufficient information. And that's got to tie in to November and Long-Term Care Insurance Awareness Month because I think sometimes as agents and advisors, we have a habit of making up our minds about whether our clients and prospects can withstand the impact of a long-term or extended care event without doing proper fact-finding and digging to find out what a client's or a prospect's situation actually is. So give that some thought as you look at the video clip. We're here to help you make sure you're making the most of LTCI Awareness Month. And in doing so, we've got a couple of uh, webinars, training webinars coming up for November. We've got a bunch of resources that we've started to provide you below so you can get ramped up for your marketing efforts and communication efforts for LTCI Awareness Month. As usual, we have our annuity corner. We've got our sales tip of the week, the carrier news, all the rest of the news that's fit to print. For those of you in the state of New York, we also have an update on Reg 187, the best interest reg on the life insurance and annuity side. So give that a look as well. Take a look at everything below and we'll look forward to catching up with you soon. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Take care. So wait a minute, um, let me just get this straight. If we went to trial, PG&E could stretch this over 10 years with appeal after appeal. Those people in Hinkley would These still- These people are expecting a trial. That's what we told them, you and me, they won't understand this. Kurt thinks it's the best way to go. Look, I, I promise you that uh, we'll be very sensitive on this point. We will make sure that they understand that this is the only way that we can go forward at this time. But we have a lot of work to do before we even broach that subject. You know what? Why don't I take Aaron down to Paul so we can start on this stuff and I'll fill her in on the rest Thanks. of the details. Those are my files. Yeah, we had them couriered over. And, and listen, good work. They're a great start. We're just going to have to spend a little time filling in the holes in your research. E excuse me, Teresa, is it? There are no holes in my research. No offense. They're just some things we need that you probably didn't know to ask. Don't talk to me like I'm an idiot, okay? I may not have a law degree, but I've spent 18 months on this case, and I know more about these plaintiffs than you ever will. Aaron, you don't even have phone numbers for some of them. Whose number do you need? Everyone's. This is a lawsuit. We need to be able to contact the plaintiffs. I said, whose number do you need? You don't know 600 plaintiffs' numbers by heart. Annabelle Daniels. Annabelle Daniels, 714-454-9346. 10 years old, 11 in May, lived on the plume since birth. Wanted to be a synchronized swimmer, so she spent every minute she could in the PG&E pool. She had a tumor in her brain stem detected last November, an operation on Thanksgiving, shrunk it with radiation after that. Her parents are Ted and Rita. Ted's got Crohn's disease. Rita has chronic headaches and nausea and underwent a hysterectomy last fall. Ted grew up in Hinkley. His brother Robbie and his wife May and their five children, Robbie Jr., Martha, Ed, Rose, and Peter also lived on the plume. Their number is 454-9554. You want